Welcome back. We've got a great guest here today and a great event that's coming up as well. It's going to be in the garden, which is the one I play, which will be on September 28th, 1 to 3 p.m. or 6 to 8 p.m. And we'll talk about that as well. But let's meet our guests uh, today. We have um, Helen Sampson from Kenosha County. And then we have Susan Johnson, which is a dementia care specialist, and she's also from the Aging and Disability Resource Center of Kenosha County. And last, we have Danette McCarthy, who is one of the founders and directors and actors of the Remember Project. Danette, nice to see you today. Nice to be with you. Thank you. All right. So uh, before we talk about the project and the uh, one-act play that's coming up, but let's talk about the uh, Aging and Disability Resource Center of Kenosha County. So Helen, for those who don't know about uh, the ADRC, let's hear all about it. Sure. Um, I like to compare the Aging and Disability Resource Center to my mother's purse. Now, I don't know if you had a mother's purse like I did, but she had everything I ever needed in that purse. Whether I um, forgot to brush my teeth and out would come a piece of dentine, or I was hungry in church and the roll from the dinner club the night before would come out. Um, that is how I think about the ADRC, is not that magic mother's purse. So for folks who are facing their aging process, or who are um, living with disability, the ADRC is that place that you can go and say, this is what I'm struggling with. And our staff, first line staff, is our information and assistance folks, will help you kind of peel that onion and um, then connect you with those resources that are available. From there, they may connect you to one of our other services like our benefit specialists or adult protective services or our health and wellness programming or they may say how about if we come out to not so much the house these days but make an opportunity for a bigger conversation that we call options counseling to see really in depth what are somebody's needs and we work a lot with the whole family who are trying to support their person and it may be someone who is dealing with dementia or their caregiver primarily who's who's needing some support and we're going to connect you with Susan and I'll let her talk about that. And then Susan you're a dementia care specialist with the ADRC uh, maybe for those who don't know about dementia, what is dementia? Well, dementia is an overall term. It's a, it's a term for a collection of symptoms that uh, designate a decline in cognitive functioning. And um, this is a big enough dec decline that it affects how a person's manage, able to manage their daily life. There are many types of dementia, Alzheimer's, is the most common form. So that's a really important question. People always want to know, what's the difference between dementia and Alzheimer's disease? Well, dementia is this overall term. It's an umbrella term. And underneath that, you have different types of dementia with Alzheimer's being the most common form. What are some of the tools uh, for dementia? A lot of it's learning how to communicate. Well, I would say the first thing is to understanding the impact of dementia on a person why they're changing the way they are and what you have to expect in terms of a decline in functioning and how to meet that, you know, how to accommodate the person in their changing needs. Now, very important tools are tools of communication. What does, what does a person with dementia require in order to be able to continue that important connection with them? And along with that, those uh, managing the many behavioral symptoms that may be evident, such as uh, added anxiety, you know, increased agitation under certain circumstances. People often are worried about this. They wonder about it. And once they learn that these types of behaviors are normal for someone with dementia, but that they can learn the tools to manage them, it reduces that fear and really that feeling of lack of control. 
Well, there's a great play coming up uh, called In the Garden, uh, which is a one-act play on uh, September 28th, 1 to 3 p.m. or 6 to 8 p.m. And uh, we have the, uh, again, uh, one of the founders of the Remember Project, and that's Danette um, McCarthy. And Danette, maybe if those don't know, what is the Remember Project and how did it get started? The short story of the Remember Project and how it got started goes back to about 2012 when I was at the time the executive artistic director at a small professional theater. We had a one act play competition. And um, at that time, a great play called Steering Into the Skid, which Kenosha County hosted two years ago live. Um, at that time, that play was entered into our competition. And someone was in the audience that night who had spent his career working with older adults and he rushed to me after the event and said, Danette, that play can be very helpful in community outreach and education. He planted this seed. Fast forward a few more years, we did a big pilot project in the fall of 2015. And I am very proud and grateful to say that the ADRCs in Wisconsin, which are unique in the nation, the ADRCs helped keep this project alive since the fall of 15. And in 2019, we were able to find a home for the project, which is now with Trellis here in the, in the Twin Cities. And um, we are now able to offer the pro program more broadly. And the program has a very simple set of goals. We want to raise awareness about dementia. We want to reduce the fear, stigma, and isolation. And we want to help point um, those people who are in the audience and the folks that they connect with to the resources that are available to them. One of the things I learned along the way is that many, many families are in crisis before they reach out for help or before they even know that help exists. And so the Remember Project is, is simply that. It's for outreach and community education and to connect people to resources. Let's talk about the In the Garden. What's that about? Right. Well, so we do this. We're theater artists. We're not experts in dementia. So we do this, this connecting by using strong plays, short plays. Some are as short as 20 minutes. In the Garden is 40 minutes in length. It tells the story of a patriarch, uh, author Arthur Monsetin. And he's fairly advanced in his um, Alzheimer's disease. In this case, his, his dementia is Alzheimer's disease. And he, um, he's functioning okay but recently his wife passed away and his three adult children are not in agreement about what should happen with their father. They have different perspectives on what's going on, a different sense of awareness about what's going on and about the resources that are available. So we meet this family, Arthur and his three children from a Friday night through a Sunday morning in this beautiful play. And we watch them go through the, the challenges of understanding and making decisions. And it is, um, it is a hard play to watch in some ways. And it's a beautiful play because each of these children in their own way are doing their best to meet their dad where he is and trying to understand the journey that they are on together. I so wish this family had an ADRC, <laughs> dementia care specialist, to work with them. But we get a chance to see uh, kind of some of the difficult things that a, a family will um, cope with. And that is followed, watching the play is followed by the heart and soul of the Remember Project. And that is the community conversation. So then we get to talk about what we just watched together. So yeah, let's talk about the community conversation. So. Um, Susan, are you going to be involved in that? Or Helen, uh, it, did, did I enroll in the community conversation? Yes. Um, given the dynamics of the um, our public health crisis at the moment, this will primarily be showed um, virtually so that people can contact. Well, actually, they can just go online and register through Eventbrite, and I, we will make sure that you have that. Um, address. Um, they register for it, they watch it in their own homes with their family members, whoever they want to include, and then there will be um, breakout rooms that Danette will lead the conversation how uh, in smaller groups um, around what we've seen together. 
And it really, you know, based on our experience with steering into the skid two years ago, it is kind of a magical formula <laughs> because there is no, um, there are few things as impactful as art to open the doors to our hearts, you know? Um, so we get to open that door and then we are pulled together to process. You know, what is it that we've learned? How we've been touched? What, what surprised us? Where are we gonna go now with this new information? So it's really um, a fabulous way to come together as a community and to look at this challenging illness that not only affects the individual, but everyone in their lives and everyone in the community to some extent. Well, let's get some information on how people can uh, see this event. Uh, we, do they go online, the website register, and where do they go? So the other thing we didn't mention is we are doing this collaboratively with Racine County and Walworth County. Okay. So um, Walworth County will be doing an in-person viewing. And um, when you go on the website, you can choose to go to Walworth County and uh, be in a room with other people and watch it together. Everyone else will be watching it virtually. And the address for that was right in front of me a few minutes ago, and now I don't see it. Are you talking about in Elkhorn where the in-person is being held? No, I'm talking about the website address for Eventbrite. It's, I believe, krw-garden2021.eventbrite.com. That's right. So if you go on that, um, type that into the website, um, it will take you directly to the registration page for um, Into the Garden. And then you can choose there to attend virtually or to go to the Walworth site. Okay. And, if, and okay. we should also tell you that we will be having a little drawing just in case, you know, we need an extra fun thing. <laughs> there you go. That's always a great draw. That's excellent. Um, if people want more information just generally about the ADRC, is there like a website phone number or anything like that? Yes, the ADRC, um, if, first of all, if for any reason this feels complicated to um, register for, please call us and we will walk you through it and we'll take care of the registration for you. So our phone number is 262-605-6646. Okay. And you also can go to our website, which is adrc.kenoshacounty.org. Okay. And Susan, if people want more information about the dementia care specialist area, is this a phone number or website? Uh, they should, they should start with the ADRC number that Helen just gave you, 262-605-6646. And I have, I'll be happy to speak with anyone who wants to learn more about how to care for their family member with dementia. Great. And Danette, for the Remembrance Project, is there like a website or for more information that people can uh, learn more about, about it? Yes, yes, there is. We've got a great website at rememberproject.org. And you can also see some wonderful things on our Facebook page at The Remember Project. So either Facebook or the website, you can learn more. Well, we thank everyone for uh, coming on down today and talking about this great collaboration for a great event, great information that, that people need to know. So thank you so much for telling us today. Thank great. you.